What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make these amazing cutout decks, also known as decoupage in French. So if you're ready, let's go. So before I begin, this is a little disclaimer, you try this at your own risk. Um, if you are below a certain age, then please consult your parents or your guardian. I'm in no way responsible if you cause any harm to yourself, okay? Okay. <laughs> also, everything on this video has been broken down into the different chapters. So when you watch it again, you can always skip back and forth. Lastly, I'll be giving away a cutout deck to one of you. Find out how you can participate and win one for yourself at the end of the video. With that said, let's begin with the tools that you need. So here are the tools that you need. First and foremost, you need a cutting mat and an X-Acto knife. Um, we prefer an X-Acto knife over a pen knife because it cuts thinner and it's more precise. Also, if you are not familiar with cutting with an X-Acto knife, then I suggest use a ruler. And of course, if you think that you are done with the design and want to set it in stone, have a glue stick. And now, to give you a better idea of how these cutout decks are made, let me show you some of these designs. So now let's go through the simplest thing that you can do with a deck of uh, cards, almost any deck of cards. Um, I used the uh, bicycle playing cards and I took a measurement and this area here is about 8 cm, okay, 8 centimeters. And so what I did with this is that I cut everyone at 0 0.5 cm each, okay, which will then give me a design like this. Okay, so I cut off um, the last bit, like that, stack it on top. And there we have it, okay. Now obviously, now you can't really see the depth illusion or the steps, yeah. It is because that you have no spaces in between each, um, each step. So a spacer is basically one of these, um, you just basically cut out you know, just the border itself. Take maybe three or four, in this case three, and then you can put them in between each layer, therefore forming the um, the step that creates the little illusion. Like this, so you can see that there's this, this step here is more obvious than the rest, yeah, because it has those spaces uh, inside. Another way to preview it um, before you actually decide on what to do is you could do this, okay? Basically, stack the design that you want and you want to see how it looks like with um, the spaces. What you do is you squeeze the deck like this. Okay, and then just hold on to the center and release. And now you can see roughly how it will look like with three or four spaces in between. Okay. So when I was cutting this halfway, I noticed something. I was like, oh, maybe, you know, I could improve on this design. So what I did was um, I took another deck that is red in color. And this time around, what I did was I cut at 1 cm each. Okay. Only at 1 cm. This was 0 0.5 cm each. This one, 1 cm each. I realized that if I Put them together they will actually look um, you know alternating color but with the same design so that was pretty cool so let me just do this real quick
And there we have it, right? So you get the idea, it's now um, 0.5 cm for the blue, 1 cm for the red, and you get this design. And to preview it one more time, this is how it would look like, yeah? Of course, you can have other alternatives, which is um, 1 cm, 2 cm, 1 cm, 2 cm, 1 cm, 2 cm, and you create a different kind of look all together. So just some little ideas, you can always play with it. Um, important thing is to cut the spaces. Uh, the spaces are important. I think these are the ones that really create the, the, the illusion of depth. There we have it. So I had a deck of cards that I didn't use. I mean, it's unused anymore. <laughs> so. Um, I started with five spacer cards over here, okay, and let me show you what I did with them. So, what I did was I cut out the uh, five spacer cards. Spacer cards are basically just the border, nothing else. They're over here. And from this original um, design itself, I know that there are many layers. The first layer here would be the border. Okay, so I could cut that out and then we have this part, this little triangle here, there will be another part and then there's also the circle, that will be another part and of course these four other triangles. And that's what I did, so after cutting these out, I, I, I tested it and see. So this is my first layer which is just the border, okay. And then this is the second layer, which is just these um, two small little triangles. Yeah. And then we have the circle. Okay. And then last but not least, this one, which is the four triangle. Okay. That's basically how it will look like. So to have a little preview of how it looks like, you basically just have to separate um, these cards and you will be able to see what eventually how it will look like so you can just separate them like this and you have a good preview of how roughly it will look like okay the next thing i did was to calculate how many cards so i know i'll have five spacer cards okay and then i'll cut um, 10 of these okay 10 of these 10 of these, which makes it 20, all 10 of these, 30, 40, and then here with 45, I will have 7 cards left, which gives me 5 more cards for the spaces at the bottom, 5 more cards for the spaces, and we will have 2 more cards to end with, Yeah, the 2 of spades and the ace of spades, like that. And so now I'm going to show you, um, I'm not completely done with this yet. I still have this to cut, okay? So I'm just gonna clear all of this away. This one I will put on top, like so. And I will leave it here. And now I'll show you how I actually cut um, these. The idea here is very simple. Now, if you look closely, you know exactly what we have to remove. We basically have to remove just these um, these two triangles, okay? So, if I want to cut something like this, I want to start here. So, to start off with, you look at this line, this white line over here. We want it. We want the white line. We don't want to cut the white line away. So, what we'll do is that we'll aim for here right where the white line uh, starts over here and then the first thing you do is to just align everything and just press down okay remember don't put your fingers behind because if you run your blade you might get cut and then once you're done here just simply run the uh, blade down the line all the way once you reach the end stop okay and then now you pull out again from this corner here 
this is where you want to start so all you have to do now is just press down to create that first cut and then drag your hand all the way down like so and once you reach the end go all the way up and then last but not least it is this line I usually like to cut it on the inside so I'll turn the cut around like that okay and I'll hold on to this corner here like so apply some pressure press down and now before you move down um, hold on to this over here and now you just have to drag your blade down once you have more space you can cover here and hold on to more of the card and then just slide down like this hold on slide down like this and once you reach the end like so pull out and you should be able to push the card out like this so once you have something like this sticking out at the back just simply go to the corner and pull it out okay and pull it out here as well and there you have it very clean cut okay and as you can see i am basically done so it's just about assembling so let me repeat uh, let me repeat myself this is five spaces five spaces and then you have two more extra cards here which are the ace and two of spades and then we have 10 just the border 10 with the triangles 10 with the design and 10 the triangles cut out okay so when you put them together you look like this and there we have it this is the tally hole deck that i designed and cut so of course now when you want and you think it's done you think this is beautiful already you can just you know go on and, and, and glue on the backs of every all the borders stick them together and you have a solid um, deck like this And now we're going to look at the uh, Verts deck. Um, this is the Verts deck SS14, which is the Spring Summer 2014 collection. Um, it is an old deck. I didn't open a new deck just to cut it. So this is what it looks like. So you take a one card as a back. You can use the back or the front entirely up to you. And then I have um, four spaces over here. Okay. And then what I did was, because the design was like this, the original design itself was like this, I decided to cut one layer just on one color. Okay, so I started with gray on top. So this is one layer, this is a second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer. And of course I cut out the center so that if I wanted to place a heart in the, in the center, I could. Okay, um, so that was that. And then look, so one playing card, um, spaces, and then one of these. Okay, and then more spaces. And there we have it. This is the vert stack, which I really like because it has all this depth um, created. Yeah. I mean, apart from it being an amazing cardistry deck, I really like the design. And I don't know if you can see this but there's a heart in the middle as well so yeah that was the design and uh, make of the Verts SS14 deck and we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching now I'll tell you the details of this giveaway all you have to do is to like this video subscribe to my channel and like all my other giveaways, tell me what are you grateful for in 2020. And I'll be giving away this Tally Ho deck.
That's all guys, you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.